Hello everybody, Dark Zekrom here. And as you can see on your screen, this is the start of a new series of Pokemon Leaf Green. But it isn't just any Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play, no, it's a Nuzlocke. And it isn't just any Nuzlocke, it's a randomized Nuzlocke. And it isn't just any randomized Nuzlocke, no. It is a completely randomized Nuzlocke. And I don't mean completely randomized as in like all the other YouTubers are like, Oh, it's completely randomized, they're randomized, all the Pokemon, all Gym Leader Pokemon, no. This is completely and utterly randomized. Everything that I can randomize has been randomized. I've randomized held items, I've randomized field items, I've randomized the Pokemon that I can find in the wild, I've randomized TMs, I've randomized HMs, I've t randomized TM and HM compatibility, and most of all, I've randomized movesets and types. So what that means is we could find a Charizard who is a poison flying type, or we could find a, I don't know, a Lucario, we're not going to find Lucario, but just saying, if this was 4th gen, we could find a Lucario that is a dark ghost type. Or we could find, I don't know, a Dunsparce with Wonder Guard. Yeah, I also ability, randomize abilities, so we can find a Dunsparce with Wonder Guard that's dark and ghost type, like Thunderbolt, Hyper Beam, Surf, and I don't know, some other crazy ass move. So, it's completely randomized. So, I would usually give Professor Oak a voice here. Um, but I need to explain the Nuzlocke rules and what I'm going to be planning on doing for the series. Uh, although, I'm pretty sure everyone that's watching this already knows what a Nuzlocke is, because Nuzlocke's been done I don't know how many times. And basically, what a Nuzlocke is, is there's a set of rules that people institute on their own. It's not a thing in the game that happens, it's just things people do. And, uh, it's just to make the game a little more challenging and a little more fun. And, um... I'm a boy, and uh, basically, there are three basic rules in a Nuzlocke. Well, there's one basic rule, two basic rules in a Nuzlocke. There is the um, one rule where any the first Pokemon you encounter in an area, so on a town, route, cave, water, etc., um, it's the only Pokemon you can catch for that area. And a second rule is you have to nickname all of your Pokemon, no matter what it is. And then the third basic rule is... Any Pokemon that faints is considered dead and unusable. So, say my starter faints, I can never use that again, it's dead, and I have to either release it or put it in a PC box. I usually just put them in a PC box, I don't really, I don't really, you know, like to, um, to release them, because I don't know, it just seems mean. But, um, anyway, there are also other rules that we can institute, which I'm going to, which is dupes clause, so in case we find a Pokemon that we've already caught, we, or, with that, this counts for species clause, which is dupes clause. Anyway. So say we catch a coughing. If I find a wheezing later in the wild, I can run again and try to catch another Pokemon. And it's basically that's basically all it is. And then uh, shiny claws, which means any shiny Pokemon I find in the wild, I can catch even if I caught a Pokemon in that area before. So those are the basic rules of the Nuzlocke. And the randomized aspect doesn't really change anything. I might institute something later. Uh, we should give this guy a name. I don't know who to give this name game to. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him. Alfredo. Alfredo. Anyway, yes, it was Alfredo. I'm gonna skip through that real quick. Anyway, so I might institute a rule later because I've messed around with the total randomized Nuzlocke thing, and it's insanely hard because you never know what's gonna happen, what Pokemon's gonna be, what type, what Pokemon's gonna have, what moves. So I might institute a rule later saying if a Pokemon faints, I have that they they have one chance to faint, and after that time they faint the first time, then they're dead completely. If they faint again. I mean, if you guys feel like that's okay, so basically, let's say my starter faints, that I can keep it until it faints again, if it does faint again. I don't I don't know if that's a good idea, we'll see how this goes, and if it eventually gets too hard, then I might institute that. I'm actually kind of digging this one, so we're going to go with this frame real quick. And we're going to head outside here. But yeah, like I said, if you guys want me to put that rule in, let me know, and I will do it. So yeah, we're in Pallet Town, guys, and I know I just finished a third gen Nuzlocke. This is a remake, so we just finished a third gen Nuzlocke with my friend Mr. Alfredo Sauce, which is why I named my rival Alfredo, because he's a pretty close friend of mine. So, you know, that would be a rival. So if you guys want to check that out, it's a playlist on my channel, and it's also over on his channel. He has a playlist as well. So if you guys want to go check, check that out, check out both of our channels. But yeah, Professor Oak. Oh, it's unsafe while Pokemon live in the hot grass. You need your own Pokemon to protect your, for your own protection. I know. Here, come with me. I've got plenty of wild and Pokemon to capture, and I've got a bunch of Pokemon in my lab for you. Yes. I'm gonna walk on in here. Oh my God, 
What does Alfredo sound like? Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. No, that is not him at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alfredo. I'm just gonna give him a regular voice. I can't do your voice. Anyway. Oh, Alfredo, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you. Come. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Doxy. There are the, the Pokemon here. Aha. These Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was younger, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, that's not fair. What about me? Be patient, Alfredo. You can have one, too. Alright, guys. So, this is the moment of truth. Let's see what our starters are going to be. <laughs> so we have a Moltres. The bug... Oh, it's a bug-type Moltres. It could be a bug something else type, but it's a bug-type Moltres. We have a Steel-type Claydol. And a Ice-type Sunflora. Ooh, okay. Um, all of them are fully evolved. That doesn't really matter, though. So we have a bug-type... We have a bug-type Moltres. A Steel-type Claydol. And an ice type Sunflora. Interesting. I think what I'm gonna do is go with the Claydol because Steel is the most resistant type in this generation. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Claydol. <coughs> Sorry, guys. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. I received, I received the Claydol from Professor Oak. Now I need to give a nickname to it. What am I nicknaming this Claydol? Hmm, what do I nickname you? I could go really generic and name it Dreidel. Or, I could name it... What do I want to name you? Uh, it's a clay doll. Um, I really don't know what to name this thing. Oh, from Ball Toy. Um, I'm gonna name it Kaboom. Because all these things do are explode. Kaboom. Done. Alright. Let's see. Oh, so you chose Mol Moltres then. Okay. I'm glad it's a bug type, otherwise because it was a fire type, I'd be screwed. Anyway, so, as you guys will see, what I also did is they have randomized moves and a full move set of four moves. So this isn't just going to be a tackle battle. This is going to be, uh, I have no idea what battle. Analyst Alfredo would like to battle. Beedrill. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have. He doesn't keep his starter Pokemon. So he has a Beedrill. I don't know what type this Beedrill is. <laughs> so, let's find out. Okay, lowering HP to zero, rather talking about it, blah blah blah, doesn't matter. Okay, we have Sharpen, Barrage, Assist, and Overheat. Okay then, <laughs> that's an interesting moveset. Um, I'm gonna go with Barrage and see what type it is, so it has Calm Mind. Okay. So, yeah, in this series I'm probably gonna play it super defensive. Okay, so it's obviously not a steel rock or... Yeah, it's obviously not a steel or rock type, because normal did... Oh, it's got color change. Not even bad. Okay. All right, sweet. Um, should I overheat it? Let's check my special attack. It's important to know your Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. Okay, we have a lax nature. Not quite sure what that does. I can check later. It's got sh suction cups. Special attack is 8 and its attack is 15. Okay, so I'm definitely going to want to stick with Barrage. <laughs> can't believe I have fucking overheat on this thing. Anyway, so I'm definitely going to want to stick with Barrage. So it's got Sandstorm. Okay. Oh, I'm a Steel type. That actually really helped me. Thank you. Freaking idiot. Oh, this will tell me what type it is, though. Well, not exactly. Well, it's a normal type now. So it didn't really help me with anything. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's going to die next turn anyway. And just for the lols, I'm going to overheat. Oh, it's got, oh, it's got Icicle Spear. Okay. See, I got really worried because I'm like, I used to be fucking this ground, but then I remembered I'm a steel type. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that confusion too in this series, but I can already tell. But yeah, so far, it's gonna be a pretty defensive series because I gotta like test out moves. Oh my gosh, overheats freaking animation though, and just for the overkill. Interesting. Didn't make the special attack sound. Hm, weird. Anyway, we are now level six. Nice and kaboom, level six. Alright, Analyst Alfredo. What's unbelievable? That is a professor. What unbelievable? I picked the wrong Pokemon. That's still Professor Oak's voice. God damn it. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Dark Z, Grant, smell you later. Bye. Yep. Okay. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Viridian City. I'm on my way to Viridian City. Sorry. All right, we're at one. Uh, all right, so our first wild encounter. This doesn't count though because we don't have Pokeballs, and the Nuzlocke doesn't start until we have Pokeballs. So it's a Pupitar. Let's see what this Pupitar is like type-wise. It's got Drought. Okay, so Overheat should help. It's got Stun Spore. Drought and Stun Spore. Overheat. I missed. Okay. Water Sport. Well, that's ironic. <laughs> okay. So it is definitely not uh, grass or bug or steel. Oh, it's a ghost type. Does Barrage affect it? Okay. And I can't escape. Are you kidding me? I can't escape? Why can't I escape? Come on. This is dumb. I have to keep. See, that's another thing. This is just annoying. This series is gonna be annoying in this. In this. Oh my gosh, I gotta overheat this thing. Overheat. I missed. Oh god. Can I? Uh, this is lame, man. Oh my gosh, that took way too long. <sighs> I gotta go heal up now. Oh my god, it's a Yanma. Run. Oh, this is gonna be so fun! <laughs> all right, this clay doll probably wasn't the best thing to start out with, but whatever. Right, I'm gonna just speed my way through this real quick, like super fast, because I just don't wanna. Another ghost type? Are you kidding me? This is gonna be annoying. Is Fampy ghost type too? Fampy? I mean, not Fampy? No, it's not. That does a lot of damage, though. Okay, that's good to know. Signal beam. It's such a weird move to get Fampy. Alright, level 7. Turn learn Tackle. It's better than Barrage. <laughs> Honestly. I'm gonna get rid of Barrage for Tackle. And learn Tackle. Okay, now we're in Viridian City. I'm gonna stop speeding up soon. There we go. I just wanted to get to the Pokemon Center. and not. I just don't want to deal with all those battles. <sighs> this is another thing. I'm gonna try to let up on the button, the speed up button for this series, because, I don't know, I just don't want to speed through the game. I just kind of want to play it at its usual pace. So, yeah. Alright, so, god damn it! <laughs> I didn't want to open that! For those of you didn't know, in Red and Leaf Green, if you press L or R, they do that stupid thing that you just saw, which is basically like a help center in the game. Oh, how do I do this? Or type matchups? What's this? What's that? And, oh, god damn it. I forgot that I set L and R to X and Y, and every time I play Fire Red or Leaf Green, I make it like a plan to never press X or, or L or R, and I always screw it up in the beginning by either like accidentally pressing them or forgetting that they do something. So yeah. Also, since I'm gonna speed up until we get the running shoes, because I mean this is just annoying. Oh, the running shoes is a good distance away. Oh my gosh, that did so much damage. Holy crap. Mm, uh, I don't know. <sighs> okay, I'm glad we have a steel type though. That's actually really useful because the resistance is it has a Celio. Substitute? What? That's weird to see early in the game. Alright, that's it, Celio. And now we're gonna go all the way into Oak's lab. Oh, Doc G! How's my old Pokémon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be a talented Pokémon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? I delivered Oak's parcel. Yeah. Oh, that's the custom Pokéball. I had it on order. Thank you. Grahams. That's not his voice. Gotta get a set voice from... I almost forgot. What did you call me for? There we go, that's his voice. That's his voice right there. Oh, right, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Encyclopedia, yes, that's a thing. Doxy and Alfredo, take these with you. I received the Pokédex. Yay. Oh, that poor Sunflora is there still. You can't get detailed data on Pokémon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are the tools for catching wild Pokémon. Ooh, five Pokéballs. Five Pokeballs, yes. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can't escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. <laughs> That's what she said. So I want you to fulfill my dream for me. Get up moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it to me. Doxy, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sister. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Doxy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. You know what? Just because you said that, I'ma do it, you fucking bitch. 
you fucking bitch. Where they at? No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head into Alfredo's house and grab ourselves the town map real quick like. Hello, Daisy. Grandpa asked you to run around. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this'll help you. I received the town map from Daisy. Alright, sweet. So now what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, what, what, what we're gonna do is heal up with our mother. And then, we're gonna go catch our first wild Pokemon, hopefully, knock on wood. Because, during this frickin' testing that I was doing on this, it was a pain in the ass to catch wild Pokemon. I don't know why, I was trying to catch, like, a frickin' Meryl, and it wouldn't catch, no matter what I did. Alright, so our first encounter is a Pupitar! Alright, so we get a female Pupitar as our first encounter. This is gonna suck, though, because we're gonna have it forever. Okay, this one doesn't have, um... What's it called? This one doesn't have, uh... Um, trout. Okay, overheat. I'm just gonna keep overheating it, and this is gonna be good cause, too, cause it's fun spore, so I can paralyze Pokemon when I try to catch them. And I'm glad overheat doesn't do more damage as the battle goes on. All right, that should be good. So now we're gonna throw our Pokeball at the Pupitar, and this Pupitar better stay in the ball, or I'm gonna be real mad. I'm gonna be real mad. I'm gonna fuck a bitch up. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Okay. Pokeball, go. Pokeball, go. I'm afraid to hit it, because I feel like I'm going to kill it. We're not going to catch this thing, I'm telling you right now. <clears throat> Come on, Pokeball. Wiggle. 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 Yes! Alright, we caught the Pupitar. Not even bad. Alright, Pupitar. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I will give a nickname to the captured Pupitar. I don't know what to name Pupitar, though. What should I name you? It's a female. I could go Reptar and be generic. Um, let's see, it's a Pupitar, which is going to be a Tyranitar. Oh, I'm going to name you... Oh, I know what I'm going to name him. i got to look up on the internet real quick. Ain't... High Enough. I'm going to look up who made Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Marvin, Gay, and Tammy Terrell. I'm going to name you Tammy. Because Tyranitar's... I didn't nickname it. God damn it. We have to wait until we get to... Where's the mo Where's the name raider? Frickin' Lavender Town, man. God damn it. So we got a ghost-type Pupitar with suction cups. Why do we have suction cups twice? What the fuck? We got Water Sport, Stun Spore, Barrage, and Rapid Spin. Not the best moveset, but, I mean, it'll help me catch Pokemon, because it's got Stun Spore, and stuff, and, yeah, and I forgot to nickname it. I'll nickname it on the layout, but, I mean, god damn it. can't believe that just happened. Uh, so, real quick here, before we move on, I'm going to go catch Pokemon on the route to the left of Viridian City, if I can even talk to the guy. So, I'm going to buy 15 Pokeballs, because I can. That's why. I think we got a Premier Ball with that. No, we didn't. Alright. Pokeballs. And I'm only speeding through because I just don't want to walk around everywhere. Alright. So here's a wild, er, a field item, and it's been randomized. So let's see what it is. We found a Choice Band. Oh, not even bad. Not even bad at all. Powers up one move, which becomes the only usable move. Not even bad. I will take that. Wow, this thing's attack is booty. Alright, I'm just looking to see who I should give it to. I'll think about giving that to someone later. But yeah, we got a choice ban, not even bad. Alright, so we're gonna try to catch a Pokemon in here real quick. Actually, I want to go level up Pupitar real quick, because I do not, under any circumstances, want to lose Pupitar this quickly into the game. Alright. Oh my gosh, it's a Mew! Holy Christ. Hello, Mew. Why didn't you use freaking fake out earlier? Alright, Barrage has murdered the Mew. I'm gonna level up Pupitar to 5, because like I said, I don't feel comfortable using him at level 3 right now. Barrage, 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 Barrage. It actually does. Wow. Does the suction cups act, act as freaking skill link too? Oh my god. Like I said, just speeding up because we're doing a little grinding right now. Corsola. Cool. 
And it's ghost type. It's the only annoying thing is because when there's ghost types, then we only have normal type moves. And it's a ghost type! Can you not be ghost types for once, please? Oh my gosh, a Kangaskhan! That's not very effective. That's worrying. Okay, so that means it's a rock or a steel type. I'm hoping steel type. Yeah! <laughs> it was a steel type. Alright, sweet. See, that's the kind of thing that's going to happen in this series, is I'm going to test a move out on someone, and if it doesn't work, then I'm going to switch to another Pokemon and kind of guess their types, because there's no way for me to be able to tell types, which would be really cool otherwise. Alright, sweet, so we got another fan pee. I don't... Yeah, this thing I can kill. All right, like I said, I'm going to get this level to 5. I'm going to get Pupitar level 5. Alright, sweet. Level 5 in one battle. Sweet. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to head all the way back over to here. And we are going to try to capture a Mighty Yenna. Level 4 Mighty Yenna. Alright, Stun Spore. Rock Throw. Alright. And we're going to Rapid Spin it because Rapid Spin is weaker and will do less damage than Barrage. And I don't want to kill it. It's got Takedown. That's good to know. Rock Throw, Takedown. I wonder what type this is going to be. Wing attack. Okay, I'm gonna heal up because we're getting dangerously close to death. Actually, you resist all this thing's moves, so you can go ahead and come out. Alright. Mona Truth, go Pokeball! Come on, capture my Diana. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Paralyzed. Oh. Okay, now it's in the red. Okay, it's paralyzed and in the red. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! Yeah, we caught it! Sweet! Gotcha, my Diana. And I would totally name this thing Savage, but every Poochiena or my Diana I've had that's named Savage, it dies. So I'm gonna name it Barky. Barky Von Schnauzer. Barky. 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 Barky, Barky. Barky V. Let's name him Barky V. For Barky Von Schnauzer. Barky V. Alright, so we got Barky V. So let's check out Parky V. It's a poison and flying type. See? Like I said, we could find a Charizard that's a poison or flying type, but we found a Barky Von Schnauzer. That's a poison poison or flying type. <laughs> Give me a second real quick. Sorry guys, I had a really bad cough all of a sudden there. Alright, so it's got Rock Throw, Takedown, Wing Attack, and Karate Chop. What? <coughs> this is a very interesting moveset, to say the least. A very diverse moveset at that. Wow, look at that moveset. Alright, guys, so we got Pupitar. Oh my gosh, an Arcanine. Okay, so it is a Rocker Steel type. Spark. What the fuck? Spark! So, conversion. Oh, now it's a Steel type. Overheat! And that's a dead Arcanine. Awesome. I'll take it. Level 8, not even bad. Alright, so I think I'm going to end off the first episode here, guys. So, yeah. So the question of the day is, tell me what you think of the idea of this series, and tell me what you think of the layout. And, yeah. Uh, also, let me know if you want me to institute the rule of one death, one, um, one free faint per Pokemon. Because if so, then I'll do that. But yeah, like I said... Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know in the comment section whether you guys like the layout and what you guys think of this um, series. But we're going to take a quick look through, the, look through our team real quick. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to name Pupitar um, on the layout. But when we get to Lavender Town, it'll be officially named, if I still have it then. Alright, thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been the first episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green Total Randomized Nuzlocke. I've been Dark Zekrom, and I'll see you all 